Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Shadowhunters episode 10, which is called This World Inverted. And before I get into it, I want to just say Shadowhunters is renewed for a season 2, so we're getting a second season, which I'm super, super excited about. And I just can't wait to see it get better and better in the second season. But anyway, back to this episode. So, um... I really, really love this episode. I think it's, like I said in my previous um, vi videos of Shadowhunters, I think it's getting better each episode we go. And I have to say, I loved the alternative universe. So, um, I'll talk about what's going, what goes on in the regular, in the real universe first, and then talk about the alternate universe. So I'm not confusing anybody um, so in the reg in the real universe uh, we have um, Meliorn and Jason Clary and he Meliorn is taking them to um, the fairy land fairy land and um, he shows them that portal to the alternate universe and says that it's like it's his life debt because they saved his life, so he's repaying for that. And when he opens the portal to in there, uh, he says only Clary can go. And um, so then she goes through, and um, with them um, and that whole thing. Um, the since that is very peaceful there, the demons are attracted to it because in the alternate universe there's no demons and therefore no need for shadow hunters. So that makes demons attracted to that. So they have to stand guard and watch for that. And then back at the institute, um, Lydia finds out about. Um, Isabel and Jace betraying them essentially and attacking the shadow hunters that went to um, the city of bones with Meliorn and um, they decide to arrest Isabel for that and Isabel is very not happy she called she said that Lydia is just like Valentine which I mean I don't think it's right that Lydia should arrest Izzy, but that's my opinion. I don't know. Um, I don't know how I feel about Lydia. Um, and then Alec finds out that um, Jace took the cup and he's very mad about that. And he wants to find him and um, get the cup back from him and so um, he um, get, he kind of connects with him with, through a rune, not the Parabatai rune I don't think but a different one and Hodge says it would be very painful and it could break the Parabatai, Parabati bond and or just weaken it and he said, and Alex said, it's already weakened. Jace is dead to me. Which I don't like that they're fighting. I really don't like that. Because they're Parabatai. They shouldn't be fighting. Uh, yeah. But I have a feeling everything will all get better between them soon. And so they do that. And um, it weakens both of them. And... Um, a demon is able to get through into the alternate universe, which I will talk about again later when I bring up the alternate universe. And then we get um, Simon coming into um, with werewolves, and they're not happy to see him. And Simon says that Raphael appointed him ambassador to the werewolves because of his close relationship with Luke. And so they have a converse, they talk for a little bit, and um, 
then they come up with this plan to get the internal affairs guy to um, basically let get Luke off the hook for those murders and they uh, have Simon pretend that he is the demonic killer and Luke shoots him to kind of prove it uh, and obviously it doesn't hurt Simon because he's a vampire and I thought that was really cool to have like hashtag dark Simon I thought he did really good with that then again I love Alberto so you know <laughs> um, and then um, Alex tells Izzy that Lydia has no choice but to follow through with the trial and that's really sad I didn't like that okay, and then now to the alternate universe I love the alternate universe oh my goodness uh, so we get, uh, Wayne Claire gets over to the alternate universe her parents are still together obviously Valentine is and she kind of freaks out understandably and um, Valentine just thinks it's a um, LARPing thing and then um, we get then look uh, watching the TV and seeing an ad for Magnus Bane and we get um, Hodge uh, his alternate self and um, he is running his own dojo and then we get alternate Luke and he owns a bookshop like in the book which I thought that was really cool that they had that touch in there. And then we get to see alternate Izzy and Simon and Alec. And I love nerdy Izzy. And I love, I just love all the alternate characters. I think alternate Simon was is pretty much just like regular Simon. Um, yeah, there's not much diff there's not really any difference with Simon. And uh, alternate Jace is a barista in this universe and, um, and there's a party going on um, I guess Valentine's swing party at the Institute a Mad Hatter party and so they're all going to be there and then um, Clary goes to see Magnus and um, she says I know you're a warlock I'm from an alternate universe and he doesn't believe her and she draws him a picture of a demon to prove it. And he says, I can't help you. My magic's gone dormant. And um, then he touches the uh, portal shard of her necklace. And then he gets his magic back. And then he goes and helps. He says, I'll, I will help you then. And um, he gets to the party. And... Uh, I absolutely love the Malik scene. Their roles are pretty much reversed in alternate in the alternate universe. Um, they're talking, and Magnus has to go away to help Clary. And Alex says the exact same line that Magnus said in regular universe. Um, playing hard to get. I love a challenge. I absolutely love that <laughs> and I love I just love that role reversal there um, and uh, a little bit before that we get a scene of um, Clary and alternate Jace dancing and then she almost forgets who she is and uh, Magnus helps her remember and then they go off to um, find that portal that the shard goes to and um, alternate Jace isn't very happy about that he thinks uh, Clary is cheating on him with Magnus and they go and they find the portal and um, alternate Jace is kind of like what's going on and then this is when the demon comes through and he's like what is this thing and obviously you can't really you don't have your serif blade and you don't have a stele and then um, regular Jace comes through the portal and to stop the demon and then um, he gets kind of attacked by it and he has demon blood in his system and you can't heal it because you don't have your stele and then they manage to go through 
the portal. Uh, she thinks about her father, and she manages. They manage to get through the portal, and they tell Magnus to destroy it so that way no demons can, no other demons can come in here. And they do, and they go into Valentine's Chernobyl lair, and uh, Valentine's not there, but they do find Jace's father, Michael Wayland. So yeah, and that's how it ends. And, um, I don't know how I feel about Michael Waitland being alive, unless it's not actually him, unless Valentine knew something was up and he did the, like, transforming thing that Lydia did when she came in, and, and that's the possibility, yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't want them to gloss over or I do away with the Clary and Jace are siblings storyline because that was a huge part of the first few books. So I don't think they can go off with that. So, um, but yeah, I really love this episode. I, like I said, it's getting better and better. And yeah, let me know what you think down below. Are you excited to see what happens the rest of the season? And are you excited for season two? I am very excited for season two. And I can't wait. So let me know all your thoughts on this episode, previous episodes, what you think is going to happen in the last couple of episodes, and what you're excited about to see to come. And yeah, that is it for this video. Till next time, bye!